We are going to do a combined Spurs Arsenal 11 current players. Are we going to put any Spurs players in the Arsenal team, Tim? We will find out. It'll be his greatest regret, Mikel Arteta, I think. I would have gone on me. Madison. Hold him hard. I think that his teammates love him and most importantly, the manager always loves him. There's going to be some angry we'll Spurs some fans at me, yes. <laughs> So it's time for another Ultimate Eleven and ahead of the North London Derby, we are going to do a combined Spurs Arsenal Eleven current players. Or should we say, Sam, are we going to put any Spurs players in the Arsenal team, Tim? We will find out. So, <laughs> <laughs> right. Do you want to um, agree between you? Start with the goalkeeper. Well, Vicario's come in, young boy, and he's done very well up to now. Um, and with Arsenal, we don't know who they're going to play. Is it going to be Raya? Is it going to be Ramsdale? I'm... I mean, even Mikel can't make his mind up. So, well, uh, I was shocked on Ramsdale getting left out. To be honest, here, I don't know where the the logic is in that. Like, you know, because we've always maybe cup games, you always give your goalie a game, and you've got plenty of cup games at Arsenal, aren't you? Like, you mean probably get through the rounds quite quite far. So you keep you keep the goalie, you know, sharp, and by yeah. letting him have a game or two, mm. switching around in the league. I don't know whether it's still the right thing to do. It all depends when you sit or stand and watch your quality of goal in training. Mm. Say, so can I? Is he better than than Ramsdale? I mean, and if he is, then you put him in. If he isn't, you don't. For me, yeah. So I think the one that go in for me has to be an Arsenal goalkeeper. Yeah. If I was a manager of of a team in this North London derby, I'd be yeah. putting. I'd be going for the Arsenal yeah. goalkeeper. Vicario has done brilliantly up to now. Um, and I, I think he's certainly one for the future. I've written Rook, it's going to be Ramsdale or Raya. Yeah. So. <laughs> I think it'll be Ramsdale. Ramsdale, yeah. Okay. What do you want to do now? Do you want to tell me the players that are 100% before we debate them or do you want to go defence up to attack? I think Saliba has to be in there. I think he's going to stand yeah. centre-back. Well, we saw how much they missed Saliba last year. They cost him the league. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I believe they cost him the league last year. You know, we talk about anything else about Arsenal. Completely blew it when they lost him. Because all of a sudden, goals started being a regular occurrence that they were conceding. Ended up losing the five-point gap, which they should never have lost. And it'll be his greatest regret, Mikel Arteta. I think last season, not winning the league. Yeah. When you had that, when you're there, yeah. you had the opportunity. So, uh, yeah, definitely Saliba. Right. I'm going to find a. We obviously need to find a Tottenham player to get in there somewhere. And yeah. I think this boy warrants it. Not last season because he was invisible. I think Basuma in the midfield would get him. Yeah, yeah. I mean, he's been outstanding. On current yeah. form? Absolutely on current form. I, we can only go on current form. We can't go on history with Basuma. I mean, he was a fantastic player when he was at Brighton. Uh, but since he's been at Tottenham, he, he's been... Am I right? He had an exceptionally good game in the last game of the season at Leeds when I was at Basuma. They came and beat us 3-4-1 in the end. But he, he actually looked like the player he was at at Brighton and that game and obviously since the new manager come in he's, he's moved forward from there yeah. and uh, whether that's a combination new manager uh, and having a year getting used to being at Tottenham yeah. you can't always be greatly successful when you move a football club you know yeah. it, does a, it takes time sometimes for that player to settle yeah. uh, but certainly looks a lot lot better okay Bazoom is in next player that's definitely in Declan Declan Rice has to be in there for me. I think he's a he's he's a massive upgrade um, to Chaco, who was there for Arsenal last year. So I think it's a big improvement for their midfield. Um, and for me, he's just he's taken to strong in it. I yeah, mean, I watched ducks to walk. Yeah, just like I should have always been here. Yeah, I mean, no, no, nothing. I mean, some of his first time passing. Yeah, really impressed me. Like, I mean, we don't talk about that enough now. Yeah. You know, somebody who can pass the ball mm. one touch first time. So, so important in terms of breaking defensive down today. So, yeah. Declan's yeah. one of them players who everyone loves. Fans love him. I think that his teammates love him. And most importantly, the manager always loves him. He's a legend when he left West Ham and he will be a legend when he leaves Arsenal. Oh, I love big prediction. Okay, well, he's definitely in. Is Saka definitely in? Yeah. Yeah, for me, yeah. Yeah, okay. Saka has to be in. I'm just writing them anywhere now. Okay, Saka, one, two, three, we're on five right next. Well, that's where you put Son for me, but do you put Ooh. Son in the wide? We're getting Son in there, I think, the, the, the over, over Martinelli. Yeah, definitely. 
Sonsi, right. So the way he started the season when the goals he scored, I think Son has to go in there over Martinelli. I think Martinelli is is a very good player, very direct, different types of players, but I think Sonny's going to have a big season. Odegaard? Odegaard Odegaard or Madison? Odegaard. Odegaard. Hands down, Odegaard. Odegaard for me. Odegaard. Mightily impressive last season for his first season. (laughs) 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 And my left and my right, obviously. I'm just going to write it here. (laughs) Right, okay. Right, we need more defenders. Yeah, we're looking for another centre back. I mean, Van der Ven's done well, but he's just a start for him. For me, Romero or Gabriel, that's the that's the question. Gabriel didn't even start at the start of the season, did he? No. No, no, why? Well, they have to go with Romero with the start of Tottenham about. I'm happy with that. Yeah. Wow, Tottenham not, players are getting it. Not, I mean, how, how, how defensively sound have they been? Yeah, they've been good. You know, you know, you talk yeah. about Tottenham and. Yeah, you know, and the style of play and all that, but it's not just a style of play in possession. Everybody's missing the fact that he's put a lot of emphasis on wow. make sure you defend correctly when you yeah. use the ball, and they're they're not letting the goals in. Yeah, yeah. you know, I think what's helped out Sam is they he's left them on their own, so they defend on their own, so they know what they've got to do. Because right. yeah. before they used to get covered up and they're all waiting for each other. Yeah, but I think Romero likes to defend. I mean, he's a rash. You don't want him on you. Yeah? Okay, right, give me two more defenders or one more, whatever you want to do. Well, we're going to we, undoggy for me at left back. I'm going yeah. to put him in there. I think he's he's come he's come into the side. And for me... Uh, How do you pronounce it? I thought it was you doggy. How are you pronouncing it? You doggy. Okay. I don't know how you pronounce it. Just yeah. get yeah. him in. Yes, get him in. <laughs> so you have it in? You doggy dog. Wow, we've added, honestly, Spurs fans will be raging at me. I didn't expect there to be that. I thought maybe one or two, but okay, I'm liking it. They have had a great start. Okay. It's been great. I, I, I don't, I, I listen to people saying they're a better team without no. Harry Kane. No. They're a better team with Posse Cogner. That's the point. He pronounced that well, didn't he? He did. He's doing cracking on these today, isn't he, Sam? <laughs> right. Are you having another defender or are you we got leaving our, three? Well, we have to have a. It was a right back, in it? Yeah. I have to leave that to Tim. Pedro Poro, Emerson Royale, Ben White. It's a toss up. Tough one, isn't it? It's a toss, toss up. up isn't it? Yeah. I think Ben's obviously a more defensive player. Pedro Poro, well, he's good at his going forward. It's not Emerson Royale, let's rule him out. So it's Poro or. Uh, White. Oh, I think Ben White. I think Ben White because he he can shift across, you know, as well and play as a centre back. Sam? Yeah, I've got Ben White, yeah. Okay, so we've got Ramsdale, yeah. White, Romero, Saliba, uh, Udogi. Yeah. And then we've got Bazuma, Rice, Saka, Odegaard, Son. But who plays up for order? But this is I think this is the toughest one. I, I know the best striker is, but he's not been playing. And he's back fit now. Jesus for me is the best striker. Um, by far so I think he's ready to play on a regular basis now so I think we've got to stick him in okay Jesus wow that is our combined Arsenal Spurs 11 so you have Udogi Romero Bizuma and Son four Spurs players get into that what do you think let us know in the comments if you agree with us or uh, what changes you would make <laughs> There's going to be some angry Spurs fans at me. Yes. Get out of that one. <laughs>